Hello, and I'm back in Fusion 360 doing another Archimedean solid. This is for Rhombic Cube Octahedron. The names get more and more stupid or fun or what you call them. <laughs> this is uh, squares and equilateral triangles. And the version I'm looking at here is my loft version. It takes uh, a couple of more steps than the one I'm going to do. So if you want to try this, you can do this as a loft. You just, first of all, you do extrude or sweep and then you can do a loft up to be square but I'm gonna do it with different shapes so let's let this be here and we're gonna start a new design of course we start on a plane with a sketch and the first thing is a polygon circumscribe polygon boom it needs eight side as that's what the final solid would have I will dimension it directly so I can dimension it from this side to this this is gonna be the height of the finer solid. I do 100 millimeters, and just to keep it a bit of help, I'm gonna turn off show dimensions. I don't want to see them anymore. I'm gonna go strain this horizontally, and yeah, that's quite good. We're gonna need two more squares. I will do them right off the bat, like that. Constrain it horizontally, and we're gonna need one more square. Four size, you're gonna something like that. We need gonna strain one of the corners horizontally to the midpoint so we don't move around. So now we're gonna need to do the little lines to help us constrain this square so we get the correct distance from the octagon in the middle. So we're gonna do a line. Now we're gonna work in construction. So we're gonna start from this corner, just a line out, and then into the midpoint. That's the easy part. Constrain it to this line as a perpendicular. You can also constrain horizontally, of course. You're going to constrain this construction line to the side of the one and tell it to be the collinear. And we're going to make one more line from here to here. And we're going to make these two equal. That's the things we need to do so far. Uh, now we're going to constrain the two squares to the octagon so we're going to start with the the we we'll call it perpendicular one here first uh, we're going to choose midpoint constraint this line and this point the other one is going to be a bit different we're going to just kind of choose the constraint of this line and the point we made here that we're connected now like that and with that we have done all the sketches we need in this plane. We're gonna finish sketch. Now we're gonna constrain, uh, construct the sketches for the height of everything. We're gonna choose X set plane. We're gonna do some projections, of course. Uh, the, we look at see here. The point of this square, the side of that square, the side of octagon, and the midpoint. And I'm going to do circles as that's the easiest way to get dimensions around. We start with the midpoint, first circle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we can do it constructions later. Circle, circle, and I'm going to mark all of these and make them construction lines. And so you see, circle for the octagon, the first square, and the outer square. And now we're going to do the hive. We're going to start with the line from midpoint straight up. Make sure, yeah, it got constrained horizontally immediately. Good. It needs to be a line. We're going to sweep on that line, not a construction line, then a normal line. Next line, I'm going to start from this point straight up and then this point and straight up. And by that, we are done with our sketches. We don't need more. Now we're going to start with a sweep. We're going to sweep this profile with this path. That's why I made these constructions so it doesn't bother and do a sweep too far. That's number one. And now we're gonna do some lofts. Loft. So the loft to make it a bit easier. I'm gonna turn off the bodies and now we're gonna start I'm start with middle so I don't have to choose the wrong parts. Middle, the next one and the one I'm gonna do now is this circle here and it's connected to this square that and then I'm going to follow that circle to that point and I'm going to turn on bodies and yeah it starts to cut no I want intersect done 
And then we're going to do the next loft, one loft more, turn off bodies to see better, start in the middle, the next part, and now I'm interested in the outer circle, so it's this outer square, all the parts selected, then the top point, turn on body so we can see it, and once again intersect. And we can turn off the sketches, so this is half a body, so we're going to do a mirror. Make sure it says bodies in pattern times, so this body, and the mirror plane, of course will be the underside. And to finish things up, we are going to combine these two to one solid. So that is our Grumpy Cube Octahedron, the strange name. We're going to check the dimensions from here to here. It's 100 millimeter. That's what we choose. And if you check the sides, 41.41, uh, 41, 41, 42, all the sides of the sides of this polygon are the same. And of course, if we want to go back to our first sketch and turn on dimensions, we can change our dimension. Let's make it like uh, 26 millimeters instead of a very small cube, rhombi cube octahedron. Yeah, it changes dimension. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.